Hi there, today we're going to adjust a I to P transducer on a AP positioner on top of a Kinetrol actuator. Uh, the positioner is set up for anti-clockwise response to rising signal operation. Uh, we have adjusted our end stops already and uh, we have installed a, a pointer here for instructional purposes only. Also, we have uh, operating temp pressure is going to be 80 PSI. 80. And we're going to use a source box to use the uh, 4 to 20 milliamp signal. So starting out, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our I to P transducer. Uh, at 4 milliamps, we want to have 3 PSI. So we're going to adjust the I to P right here. Uh, we have a Z adjustment for zero, and we have an S for span. So what we'll do is we will turn the uh, zero adjuster towards the plus and then bring it right to three, PS, three PSI. And then we're going to give it uh, 20 milliamps. And we should be right at 15 PSI. I'm not quite right there, we're going a little over, so let's adjust that span a little bit. And then we'll go back down and back up just to verify our adjustment that it, it all is properly adjusted. When you do adjust uh, one, uh, the zero and the span, it can affect the other, so you just want to verify everything's correct. Okay, and so we bring it back up to four milliamps. Yes, we're right at three PSI. And get the 20 milliamps. And yes, we're right at 15 PSI. Okay, so next, now what we can do is our uh, 20 milliamps, it's gonna be our desired position is going to be completely open, which we're not quite there yet. And four milliamps is going to be completely closed. And it appears that we are real close to that right now. But if you do need to adjust, you can um, adjust with your zero knob here. Uh, if it's if you need to go down further close, just turn your knob in the anti-clockwise position and then go up to uh, 20 milliamps. See where you're, where you're at there. And yeah, we still lack some there. So you just go here to your range adjuster and turn the knob in a clockwise position. And then we'll go back down. And also here, when you do one adjustment versus the other, they will affect each other. So you just have to go back and forth just to verify your adjustments as you're within your specification. And we're not quite close there. We're gonna adjust that just a little bit there. And I clockwise and come back up. And still not quite open all the way. Turn it clockwise. Come back down. Right at zero, right at closed. Back up to 20. And we are all the way open. And there you go. That's adjusting the uh, positioner and uh, I to P transducer. Thank you very much.